these are the top five cybersecurity certifications. And what do I mean by top five? What are the metrics that we're going over? So these will be in pretty much each domain of cybersecurity and the percentage of uh, the likelihood of being employed with that certification over the next year. We're also about to go over salary expectations and the amount of time that is required or suggested to obtain one of the certifications. So let's get right into it. We have first and foremost, the tried and true uh, CompTIA Security Plus, which is an entry level certification. It's kind of like you pretty much have to have this to get any job in the field, uh, unless you have a degree or something like that. And they suggest you have six to 12 months of experience in security, but you don't need that. It's not a requirement to take the certification. I did not have that experience. I just studied the required material that is on the CompTIA website. You can expect to make about 75 to 95,000 US dollars per year with this certification and the types of jobs you can expect to be you know, applying for and obtain are SOC analyst or uh, help desk. And then here is the uh, percentage likelihood of employability having the security plus for one year. So usually about 75 to 80% of people that have this certification will be able to obtain a job within the first years, which is the most important part. <laughs> so uh, next up we have the CISP. Don't ask me to uh, tell you what that goes out to. It's like certified information security professional, something like that, but uh, the CISP. And what they're expecting there is five years of security experience. The other requirement is you have to, you have to have a person that already has the CISP vouch for you. So you need the five years experience, uh, paid experience, and somebody that has a CISP needs to vouch for you. You can expect to make about 120 to 150,000 US dollars uh, with that certification and the job title that you can expect to apply for is usually a security manager position. Uh, and the percentage likelihood of employability having this certification for one year is about 90 to 95 percent but whenever I do research on this certification there is a very tiny likelihood of not being employed so I think this is actually a bit generous I think it's closer to 97 to 98 percent and those that are not employed are likely choosing not to be uh, next up we have the CEH or certified ethical hacker um, this one you would be required to have two years of relatable experience or do a uh, course through the certified um, ethical hacker uh, organization there. You can expect to make about 95 to 110,000 US dollars with that certification. The job title, of course, is penetration tester. Um, you could also do, you know, junior penetration tester. Uh, red teamer, those uh, job titles can also be something that you can apply for. If you have this certification, you can expect to be, uh, there's about an 85 to 90% chance of employment within a year of having the certification. Then we have on the opposite side for the blue team, you have the GSEC, which they did not have any required or suggested experience to take the certification. Honestly, I would treat it the same as a CompTIA Security Plus, where if you had experience, of course it would help, but it's not necessary as long as you studied the required material. You can expect to make about 100 to 120,000 US dollars. And the type of position you'd be applying for is security engineer. About 90% likelihood of employability in that 12 months um, time span of having it, and a 93% chance if you are a SANS graduate, which is where uh, this certification is hosted. It's hosted through the SANS Institute. So your 
likelihood of employability is increased by about 3% if you are a graduate of, of that institute. Uh, next up, we have the CCSP, which is pretty much like the CISP of cloud security. So again, they have a requirement of five years of tech experience, three of those years being directly in uh, security. You can expect to make about 125 to 160 k which is actually towards the higher amount on this list. Of course, cloud is only growing. They're in high demand right now. So uh, the type of job you can expect to uh, apply for is the cloud security architect because this is more of a senior level certification. So that architect role is a more coveted, high paying role, but it is, you are having to earn every dollar you make for this role. Uh, and again, it's about 90 to 95% of employability with the certification over the course of 12 months. Next, I also wanna talk about what the exams would look like as well as the uh, renewal time, okay? So we have the CompTIA Security Plus. Expect a maximum of 90 questions. Those will be uh, multiple choice as well as uh, performative questions. The test will be 90 minutes, uh, or you'll have 90 minutes in order to complete the test. And you'll need a score of 750 out of 900 in order to pass. And this will need to be re uh, renewed every three years. Then we have the CISP, which will have about 100 to 150 questions. You have three hours to complete it. Uh, and in order to obtain the certification, you'll need that 700 out of 1,000 score. And the renewal is uh, three years for that. So you have three years in order to renew that uh, before it expires. Then the Certified Ethical Hacker, that exam will be about 125 questions, multiple choice a four hour exam and you'll need a 60 to 85% on that exam in order to get the certification. It depends on the test, it varies. That's the only answer I have for you about that 25% discrepancy. And uh, this one will have to be renewed within three years. Then we have the GSEC, which will be about 106 questions, a three hour long exam. You'll need at least a 73% to obtain that certification and um, has a four year renewal time period. And lastly, we have the CCSP, which is 125 questions, a four hour long exam, multiple choice, and you'll need 700 out of that 1,000 in order to obtain a certification. Renewal for this one is three years. These are the top five cybersecurity certifications based off of your employment levels, as well as yeah, just generally who is hiring, who, who, who is actually asking for these certifications. These are the top five here. So thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like the video, uh, subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment down below with any questions or concerns you have. I'm more than happy with answering, as well as the community that we built here will also answer. So thank you guys for watching.